In this video, I will let you know how to get started with the latest product from MFS Tech called Atom and Atom Lite. Well, these are the smallest ESP32 based development board which are currently available in the market. Uh, in this video, I'll be testing them and I will be concluding that do minimizing the size make any difference or rather make it more useful? You just need to sit back, enjoy this journey. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by UTSource. Now, UTSource is an electronic component distributor from which you can get many different kinds of electronic components. Maybe it's a passive component, maybe it's a development board, maybe it's sensor. You can get different kinds of components with a minimum order quantity of only one page. With the multiple payment and delivery options, UTSource is quite convenient for shopping globally. Maybe you are from any corner of the world. So I'll attach some of the component list in the description. So do check it out and maybe you can find the perfect component at the perfect price. Links are in the description. Starting with the box content, then this is how you will receive the product. And well, I have attached its purchase link in the description. Now talking about the difference between both the version, then almost all the configurations in both the models are same except the IMU that is the MPU6886 chip and the RGB LED matrix. In the regular version, we do have 5 cross 5 LED matrix and uh, MPU6886 chip inside it which is used for motion control projects. While talking about the light version, well we do not have that IMU and we do have only single RGB LED built in. Rest of it, everything is similar like same processor, same number of GPIOs, same type C connector, same IR LED and same button. Okay, and yes, there is also size difference between both the models. The light version is couple of mm short in height as compared to that regular version due to the absence of RGB LED matrix of course. So in this video, I'll be testing the regular version of this Atom. I won't be testing that light version because I don't think anyone will go for the light version or rather I won't recommend it at all because uh, the regular version is only $3 more than the light version. And by spending $3, you will get more opportunities or rather your projects will get more features to it. So in this video, I'll be testing the regular version. So without wasting time, let's just jump to the coding part. So before starting this video, I hope you already have the ESP32 boards installed on your Arduino IDE. If not, don't worry, just watch out this video which will guide you on how to install it. That being said, after that just click on to sketch, into include libraries, into manage libraries. Here just search for M5 stack atom. Click install. Talking about the example codes then, uh, we do have four examples provided by the makers and well out of the four, this code don't work at all. Maybe it's incomplete currently and may get resolved soon, I don't know. Let's talk about other three examples then. The first example is just for testing the button. Let's just open it, select the board as ESP32 Pico, select the uploading speed as 11.5 to 00, select the port and hit the upload button. As you can see, I'm able to change the color of the RGB LED matrix by pressing the button under the display. Well, not so cool, but hey, come on, it is just for debugging the button, okay? Let us quickly move to another example in which you will be able to change the color of single LED in the whole matrix by pressing the button. And by changing the code a bit, well, you can make this kind of signs in the display, which will be useful in case you want to make the tic-tac-toe game with a couple of more atoms together. The makers of the M5 stack atom already made this game using the lighter version of the atom. Have a look. Okay, let's just move to the third example, which will just give the data of the built-in IMU. Like we will get the data of the gyroscope and data of the accelerometer as well. This is useful for motion control projects. Uh, one of the demo uh, project using this IMU is already uploaded on the Hackster, which seems quite cool, okay? And if you want to make full use of this M5 Atom, well, you can make your own drone. Yes, a tiny little drone using M5 Atom. Have a look, the makers already made this kind of kit maybe uh, using their M5 Atom only. Well, anyone from M5 Tech watching this video, well, I would love to test that little drone using the Atom. So do send me out. Uh, I will definitely love to test it. So yeah, this was the example codes provided by the makers. But hey, you can make way more cool stuff other than these examples. Uh, one of them is by using this fast LED library, you can make a cool fading RGB rainbow effect under the matrix. Uh, for that, you just need to have this fast LED library, which you can get it easily by going to sketch, into include library, into manage libraries. Just type fast LED and click install. After that, open the example called RGB set demo. Now here you just need to change the number of LEDs to 25 and change the LED pin to 27. Hit the upload button and you will be able to see this cool RGB LED, you know, rainbow effect on the display. This looks really amazing in real, trust me. 
and more than that you can also make a scrolling led out of this tiny matrix yes for that you need to have these all libraries installed on your system which you can easily get from that library manager not a big issue after that just open this example called matrix test here just change the pin number to 27 and change the resolution to 5 by 5 here you can type the message which you want to display but hey we need to make one more changes in the code as this code was initially written for 5 cross 8 matrix the font used for this are bigger while in our case we want the font in size of 5 by 5 matrix for that we need to tweak the fonts a bit but don't worry you don't need to write your own fonts one of the guy already did it under the adafruit forum you just need to download that file and paste it inside arduino libraries into adafruit gfx library just paste it here that's it now you can upload the code and you will be able to see your message scrolling under this tiny display but hey make sure you type the message only in the capital letters small letters won't be supported in this library okay so by using the scrolling display we can make one more interesting project like this in which we just need to give command to our google assistant and that same message will be displayed remotely to that m5 stack atom via mqtd protocol now this same something interesting so likewise we have tremendous possibilities of making project out of this m5 stack atom but still the point here is do this small atom justify its price and its size means at the same price or under this price we can get the esp32 development board from which we can get multiple gpios accessible to us so do this product has some uniqueness so if you ask me then uh, i'll say yes in some cases where size is an issue for example i talk about the drone which uh, the makers of this atom uh, made in a kit form in that project yes m5 stack atom is a perfect fit we can't use that bigger m uh, esp32 development board of course so so in that case m5 stack atom seems very useful but you talk about the projects like a home automation well in that case you don't need to go for atom because there are two reasons first of all the size is not an issue in the uh, in the home automation project because we do have a bigger switchboard module so getting a big bo big development board is not an issue second thing number of gpios in a home automation project we do require a lot of gpios while in, in, while in m5 stack we do have only five or eight number eight gpio pins so in that case it is not uh, you know very much useful so in case you want to make a very compact project then yes m5 stack atom is a perfect choice for your projects now if i put everything aside for a while then dude this product is really very cute i mean i just love to hold it in the hands it's very small yet powerful yet very cute and good looking i just love the product and if i would ask to give any suggestion to the makers then the chances of purchasing this product will increase in case the makers add a small battery inside it just like you did in the m5 stick c just increase the size a bit and fit a small battery which will be more convenient to make the small iot projects like a iot button so this is a suggestion from my side so yeah this was all about the quick getting started video of m5 stack atom and a small review from my side do let me know how do you feel about this product will you purchase it if yes, then for what projects you will purchase it. Do let me know in the comments and just wait for my next video. Explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.